Okay, gentlemen, welcome to Tarkov. This is uh, the first basically finished area of the map we have. You can see we've been working really hard on the environments and just fine tuning the graphics. Yeah, no one cares about graphics these days. So the first thing I want to talk about is the general overall tone and vibe of the game. Uh, are there any updates on that? Uh, well, that's my field. It seems like the video game industry is leaning really heavily into making games a little bit too fun. Mm -hmm. You've got your Call of Duties, you've got your Battlefields. Great games, very popular. They're just leaning way too heavily into this enjoyment factor, which I just find absolutely ridiculous. Mm. We yeah. want to strip the fun right back. But are we really committed to that? We are 100% committed to that. In summary, we really want to make playing Tarkov feel like getting punched in the dick. I absolutely love it. The feeling of being punched in the dick is definitely a vibe I want to keep for this whole game. So the next thing I want to talk about is the new player experience. What's it going to be like when they first enter the game, when they're looking at their inventory? Are there any updates on that? Ah uh, yes, well I've been working on that. So we've noticed other games have very simple inventory systems. Blech. We're not going to do that are we? Mm -mm. Nope. So in Tarkov, new players are going to be greeted by an inventory screen that looks like a spreadsheet. Mm. There'll be tons of bullets, tons of magazines, tons of guns, a whole lot of items you have to identify. People are going to be so freaking confused going to feel like they've been punched in the dick. Nice. How, however, however, um, I would just like to say that, that yes, this is an incredibly complex game. So we're working on a very robust tutorial. No, we'll really... scrap the tutorial. So the next thing is going to be how health works in this game. How healing, how being injured, how does that work? Are there any updates on that? Can I ask you a question? Have you ever been shot? I haven't. Never been shot. Would you know what to do had you been shot? Wouldn't know. This is exactly how we want the player to feel in Tarkov. If you get shot, we want them to just be angry, frustrated, terrified. We want it to be a really confusing, horrible experience. There are going to be over a dozen ways to heal in Tarkov and none of them will make any sense. Uh, aspirin will lead to dehydration which will yep. lead to death. My theory is if people aren't angry from start to end in Tarkov, quite frankly we've failed. Mm -hmm. We want it to feel like the player's been punched in the dick. Absolutely love it. Okay, okay, but let, let me ask you a question now. Are you a soldier? No. No, you're not. Uh, but the players will be playing as soldiers, and I feel like soldiers would know how to heal. So the thing heal. I want to talk about is the general quality of life, uh, interacting with your fellow teammates. How does that work? So we've noticed other video games use gamer tags to help players easily identify their teammates. Hmm. But I've noticed that you don't have a name above your head. Oh, I know I don't. Neither do you. Neither do you. Oh my goodness, you don't either. So there's going to be none in Tarkov. Oof. In fact, it's going to be very difficult for players to even know who their teammates are. In fact, they're probably going to team kill them over and over. It is going to be the worst, most awful experiences of their life. It's going to feel like they've been punched in the dick. I love it. Okay, okay. I, uh, sorry, I just really like to voice some concerns that I've got right now because I'm, j I'm just a bit worried with the lack of gamer tags and the confusing heels and the nightmare menus and the general tone of unpleasantness that I'm, I'm just worried that we might be creating a game that's just too difficult, too intimidating and just generally unenjoyable. Just like real warfare. <laughs> love, it, love it, love it, love it, love it. Love it, lock it in. Ugh. Okay, I guess I'll go punch myself in the dick for some research. You know, you might not be able to tell from that seamless editing, but that skit was very difficult to film. We really struggled on this one. We really, really struggled. That means there are a lot of bloopers from it. And you can go check them out on our Patreon page. There, there, are, there will be a lot of bloopers from a lot of different videos. Primarily from us. Yeah. Link is just down over there.